So for, for this example, you're going to prove the identity equals to this side. Whether you want to start from left hand side or right hand side. You, you can compare the, the trigonometry, they are seeing, sine and cos only. So we just look on the operation. So which part of the operation we can do more? Left hand side or right hand side? Left hand side or right hand side? Left hand side. We can square this and then we expand. After we expand, we factorize back in terms of two factor. Alright, so we will start this proving from left hand side. So how to square? How to square? We expand one by one. Okay, so we expand one by one. For the first term, we expand to the back here. So from here we can get 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times sine theta, 1 times cos theta. Alright, continue. Second term. Come to the second term here. We expand to the back. Sine times 1 times sine times cos. So sine times 1, negative sine. Negative, negative become positive. Then negative sine theta cos theta. Alright, then continue. The next term, term number three, we expand to the back here. Cos time one, time sine, time cos. So we get cos theta, then negative sine theta cos theta. And then cost them cost, cost credit. <coughs> Alright, so we seek for symptom that we can simplify here. How many sign? How many sign term here you have? Negative sign data, negative sign data, no more, so you have negative 2 sine theta simplify one by one continue cos term cos theta plus cos theta so you're having 2 cos theta so you can see you nearly you get already your answer you must have 2 right the other by yang dua ni keluar dah then continue sine square and cos square Sine square plus cos square equals to 1. Some more. Negative sine theta cos theta. Negative sine theta cos theta. Negative 2 sine theta cos theta. Finish. Uh, we simplify these nine terms here until we get this. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 terms. Well, we still can simplify 1 plus 1, which is equal to 2. So your objective achieved. You have all value of 2 already. So what can you do next? What can you do next? We can factorize out the value of 2. Then we can achieve the coefficient of 2 here. <coughs> All right. Okay, 
So we achieve we achieve the coefficient 2. Nombor 2 ni dah dapat. So sekarang kita nak dapatkan factorize ah ni nombor 2. Ni nombor 2 sudah selesai. So kita nak selesaikan yang belakang ni. The expanded form jadi factor form. Expanded maksudnya dia dah kembang, dia dah kembang satu satu. Sekarang kita nak masuk balik dalam kurungan. So masuk balik kurungan maksudnya factorize ah uh, factorizekan dia. So how can we factorize this? We pick out the side term. Uh, we pick out the side term, okay? We pick out the side term. We pick out the side term. We factorize it. We fact Factorize out your sign terms here. You get negative. Okay. Can you understand? Yeah. This one, one and cos term, kita jangan usik dulu. Saya letak dia kat belakang dulu. I select this two term. I select this two term. Where factorize up the negative sign. So, your remaining here is one. So, here remaining is cos theta. Understand? Alright. So what else that you can see? So from 1, 2, 3, 4. Now leaving 3 terms only. 1, 2, 3. Uh, so now what, what can you see? You can see 1 plus cos theta, right? Number. In this term, I can factorize out 1 plus cos theta. At the back here, I can factorize out 1 plus cos theta. So... So when I factorize out 1 plus cos theta, the remaining term here is negative sine theta. At the back here is 1. So finally, we get all the terms that we want. We rearrange in order where sine term come first and then cos term come after that. So 1 minus sine term, 1 minus sine theta, 1 plus cos theta. Cool.